Tesla Grad 2 is a puzzle game, I guess. I'm one of those depressed kids and I've played the first one as well, which is basically the same thing. Puzzles where you also include your reaction time and don't beat bosses by overpowering them but by using your tools to calmly get rid of them. So here you play as the first game's main character's daughter. She gets attacked by the barbarians and the game starts. As you go around the map, you'll find her clothes and you'll get powers. You also have some secret powers that you find around the map. The most iconic thing might be the red and blue magnets which work just like that. Opposites attract each other and repel the same color. You also get the electric dash, the smash, the slide and you can use these in different situations. The main thing about the game are the puzzles and the fact you take your time and understand how things work and then you get through some parkour puzzles. The puzzles aren't that hard, you won't go bald by thinking about the solutions, everything's easy but sometimes takes time to realize it. The graphics are pretty cool, the art style isn't realistic, it's more cartoonish but looks pretty good. Not everything is perfect but looks great. Overall the visuals are great, the visual effects and backgrounds in this game are gorgeous. While wandering around it's surprising how great these things look, not exactly since it's 2024 and every game needs to look great to even get attention or look extremely awful and become a meme for a week. The interface is literally nothing but this works really well. Here you have the map which you'll be given directions on where to go and you can even have the map open while you wander around but that's not really necessary nor is it a great help. The controls are responsive and you can do everything you'd expect you'd be able to do in a game like this. Getting through the zones in this game feels great and using all the powers together to achieve stuff feels great, like using your axe to repel yourself further and whatnot. The story is about the kingdom you visit, the war, enslavement and whatnot, also bringing people back to life in order to overwork them a little bit more. The game doesn't throw the plot at you, you can wander around and collect the things. You can also see different writings on the walls or you can simply watch a video on the plot, which is what I did. But you have enough resources to understand what's going on, like the videos you find sometimes and the fact you're literally playing the game. This is one of those Studio Ghibli style things, not that much dialogue, in fact you don't have dialogue literally, except for the breathing sounds. The songs in the game absolutely slap. Every new area has no songs that sound great and go very well with the game's vibes. Mysterious and whatnot. The sound effects are also great, like when you're using your gravity things or just wandering around, the sound effects go really well and contribute to the overall ambience of the game. Again, you don't have voice acting but the ambience and songs make the game still good and not boring to go through. The game has some replay value, especially since you gotta get all the secret powers in order to beat the secret boss which is Queen Eleanor, also going around the whole map with everything you get in the end feels pretty good. I didn't get every single thing on the game, but I don't really feel like it. You don't have teleports or anything like that, but you have all the ropes that connect the different areas around, so you can zip through those and get to places fast. But honestly, I don't see myself coming back to the game in a while. I finished the main story in 2 hours in my first playthrough and it took me 6 hours to beat Eleanor and explore the entirety of the map. The game performs great and didn't lag on my PC didn't run into bugs or FPS drops during the gameplay, so yeah, on that department the game is great. I didn't find a bunch of people talking about the game, but the few people I found was already enough for me to get to all the secret powers and learn the whole story going on here. At the end of the day, it's a fun game to play, you won't spend that much time on the game, but it's a quick fun trip. I would recommend this to weird kids like me, if you've played the first Tesla Grad long ago, you'll probably like this one as well. If you never played these kinds of games, it would be funny for you to try it out. Anyways, let me know what you think about the game and what you'd like to see me talk about in the channel next. See ya!